Now a golf brand that you're all probably quite familiar with is Honma, but I'm guessing most of you won't have used or tested or had any of their clubs in their bag. But in this video, I'm gonna try and give you a good idea of what exactly they have to offer and why it's probably a brand that you should start considering. First off though, before I run into everything in this video, if you're new to our YouTube channel, please help the subscribe button below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. So for many, Honma is probably a name that you've heard of in the past and you'll associate with super high-end products. I mean, we're talking thousands of pounds for sets of golf clubs and they still do that. They still have their Berez range. You know, I'm pretty sure that a set of their five-star Berez range with gold and platinum through it will set you back around about, I don't know, 40, 50, 60 grand, there or thereabouts, you know, quite a lot of money. But over the last few years, they've really made an effort to try and cater for, you know, other golfers, club golfers, ordinary golfers who don't have, you know, the spare, spare cash of 40 grand lying about. So we've got a whole host of products, um, really catering for everyone from the true player, someone who wants a blade, you know, a low spin driver to the opposite end of the spectrum, lightweight constructions, draw bias designs, high launching, really forgiving things. So we really have something that caters for everyone. And crucially, the price, it's really, it's pretty competitive with everything else that's out there on the market. Some of their stuff's a little bit higher priced, but there's not a great deal in it. Um, so, you know, that's probably something that many of you won't be too aware of. Just Hornman's efforts to try and get their clubs into your your hands, try and get more golfers playing their products. And they've got a really comprehensive offering. And first up, we'll look at the TR21X irons. This is Hornmas take on a player's distance iron. These type of irons, they've just soared in popularity the last few years, delivering the kind of speed and distance, forgiveness of a game improvement iron, but with the looks and feel of a player's iron. That's the whole idea. And this is Hornmas take on it. And it's pretty much as you would expect if you're familiar with these kinds of irons. It's a hollow body construction. You've got a fast forged face. You've got tungsten weighting in there to boost the CG low, get you launching it nice and high, make it more forgiving. Um, and it's you know made to look like a player's iron. It's actually based off the TR20 blade that I've also got with me today. An absolutely phenomenal looking iron. And yeah, it's just, it's based off that look, but obviously a little bit larger to give you some confidence. And yeah, it's just, it's everything you would expect from an iron in this category. You're gonna get really good distance. You're gonna get nice high launching iron shots, more forgiveness, but importantly, the feel and the look, it's going to suit a player's needs. So this, yeah, it's just, it's home as take on it. And having played with it quite a few times, it keeps up with pretty much everything else out there in terms of performance. You know, it does offer really good distance. That's probably the thing that stands out most. Yes, the lofts are quite strong, um, but you know, that's what these irons are supposed to do. They're supposed to go a long way. So TR21X, yeah, delivering what you would expect of a player's distance iron. Now I touched on it briefly there, the TR20B. It's what the TR21X is based off and it's my favorite club in Honma's offerings. It's a pure muscle back. I just think it looks tremendous. A proper pure Japanese forging. Just looks, feels tremendous. Won't be a club for everyone. Obviously it's a proper blade, but just in terms of the aesthetics, the feel, um, you know, I wish I had the ball striking ability to put a full set of these in my bag. They just look sensational. So that's some of the players' irons covered off. But now let's look at the T-Roll GS lineup. And this is really at the opposite end of the spectrum. This is tailored more towards slow swing speed golfers, higher handicaps. Those of you who are just looking for as much help as possible, we've got a full lineup of irons and also woods. So, you know, I've got the driver here. Uh, and yeah, it's just designed, it's in a sort of draw bias design. It's a bit of a lightweight construction and it's just going to try and help you get the ball up in there, get it carrying a bit longer, uh, and just try and give you some free distance, you know, try and help you find some more fairways. And it has everything you would expect of a modern driver. We've got adjustable hosel, we've got an interchangeable weight on the sole there. Uh, we have a sort of speed slot in behind the face. We've got a really fast force face with its own structure in behind, which Juan Massey will give you greater ball speed, more consistent ball speed. So it is, it's promising everything you would expect of yeah, a driver these days. Uh, and once you start hitting it, you know, what stands out to me is just how easy it launches into the sky. I mean, it just, it sends the ball into the air, no problem whatsoever. And for that, for the kind of golfer that would be using this driver, that's absolutely ideal. 
To show you the kind of performance that Honma clubs are delivering, I thought I would compare the TR21X with another hollow body forged iron, uh, the TaleMade P790, and I'll compare the GS driver with another draw bias design, the Callaway Big Bertha B21. First off, the irons, both, as I say, you know, hollow body, distance forged irons, designed for players who want that kind of slate look, but more distance and more forgiveness. And when we pull them up side by side, you're seeing there's not that great of a difference. I'm hitting both six irons and both offering tons of ball speed, high launch, relatively low spin. And yeah, the distance, you know, we're just over 190 with a six iron. For me, tons of distance. But that's what I expect from a player's distance iron. Now, what I am noticing with the TR21X, now bear in mind, it's not been custom fitted for me, is that it's launching just a touch lower and spinning a bit higher. So the distance is just a couple of yards shorter. However, you know, out in the golf course, I'm not seeing too much of a difference uh, in terms of distance. The flight's still really solid, still feels really powerful. Um, and yeah, it does, it looks like a player's distance iron should. It looks relatively sleek but you know there's more technology in there. You know it's gonna give you the kind of power and forgiveness you want. Now let's look at the drivers. So with the GS driver, you know, as I say, you know, this driver is not really built for me, neither is the Big Bertha B21, but I thought it'd be good to do a sort of light for light comparison, you know, something built to really you know, gain speed, give you more distance, more help, and a draw bias design. So both drivers fairly similar in what they're tailored, to, who they're tailored towards, what they're supposed to do. And you can see the performance, they're pretty much matching one another. Uh, again, you know, as I say, not fit for me, so the spin's quite high, the distance isn't there, but ball speed, they're pretty much bang on the exact same. Um, launch angle's fairly similar, both spinning high, and distance-wise, there's just two yards in it, so I think on another day, the GS driver would probably be longer than the Big Bertha B21. Um, and yeah, there's just, there's not a lot in it. And I think that just shows that Honma, their products, they really do deliver top-notch performance. They'll keep up, they'll match anything else that's out there. And it's just another option for you to consider when you're looking to put some new clubs in the bag. And at the start of the video, I asked, why don't more golfers use Honma? Well, to my view, that now shouldn't really be much of an issue. You know, their products, they do perform really well. I've had them out in the golf course. They stack up against pretty much anything else out there on the market. Um, I think maybe part of the reason is that, you know, it's tough to maybe come by a place that stocks home equipment or to find something that's going to give you a custom fitting. But, you know, if you are looking to upgrade anything in your bag, then Honma, it's range, it's something you should consider. So if you have any questions about Honma's latest equipment, then just leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and thank you very much for watching.